Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 45 of my Greg Tech New Horizons playthrough. We are at the surface of our um, base here and I've been doing a, a little bit of work off camera just to kind of uh, move some things around like we've been talking about. So coke ovens are gone and I didn't just, I, I moved them, I didn't get rid of them completely. Um, I also moved our steam so we got a bunch of room in here now to play with uh, and I think I'm gonna eventually move all these machines and these few machines here up to this level and we're gonna use this for uh, piping so I think all that should fit right that's four tall yeah that'll fit um oh what about that that is also that's five tall that should fit too right yeah Okay, so we can move all that stuff up. So that will be kind of done in between episodes. And then this is where we move the little steam production for now. And this is where I put all the coke ovens for now. I don't know how long we'll be using this for, but it's, it's set up and it does its thing. It runs a few machines that it needs to and uh, yeah. So we, I just figured I'd set it back up down here where we have a ton of room to do, f you know, tons of space for activities and stuff, you know? So yeah, that's what we've done off camera in between episodes. And in this episode, we are going to get to work on a little bit more progression. So we are in need of a vacuum freezer here for some future uh, endeavors and then this implosion compressor I want to get done too because this is kind of moving towards making a rocket ship and uh, I'd like to get into the HV circuit assembler too to uh, you know progress further into our uh, circuits you know um, fun stuff but we also I made a filing cabinet off camera, you know, we'll take another one of those because I don't need the steam bag. So let's go through the quest book and kind of refresh our memory on what we've done here. Um, I guess, yeah, I made those a little while ago. Uh, I actually decommissioned those now, so they are no longer in use. And we made a magnet. I don't remember if I showed this on camera, but yeah, I made a magnet. Um, this has a Fortune 3 LV bag, so I don't... Hmm. Okay, cool. Probably should have done that sooner. Um, we made some magnalium for something. I think for this maybe. No, not that. Um, for something. Gosh, I don't remember what I made that for. Anyways, we made it. That'll be another LV bag. What's my inventory look like? A mess. Inventory management is hard. Um, uh, I did make some diamond spikes that I will will maybe go show what I plan to use those for here um, later. But we get all of this stuff, so that's pretty neat. We've eaten that. We've eaten that, so I don't really care. Um, choice reward, diamonds or steel plates? We'll take the diamonds. Sure. Um, anything else in here? Yep. Oh, I was moving some... Uh, Ores around and got that one completed, so that's pretty neat. Um, should we just get gas tears, maybe? That sounds fun. All right, what do we do in MV? Uh, yep, we made this last episode, so that's neat. Uh, the spikes and the fans are going to go together here real soon. That gets us a Fortune 3 MV book. Man, do I upgrade the fortune ones? I don't think so, right? Although we do have fortune... We can get fortune 3. Hmm. Decisions. Uh, the firestone we talked about. That was a, a fun fun deal. Oh, and now we have a firestone dust in our pocket. And that hurts. Or a couple of them, actually. I guess these bottles of enchanting... Um, don't have a use? Do they have a recipe? They kind of have a recipe. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, we'll just get the lever levels and throw them oops, in here. All right, moving on. We made Super Chest a while ago. <laughs> we made this stuff a while ago, so I must not, not have not made enough. Um, but I made a bunch of this for... Oh gosh, I don't know. I might have just made a bunch of it. Oh, I think I used this uh, to make some maintenance hatches, actually. Yeah, that makes sense. For our uh, setting up today's episode here. Um, I remember that. Um, should we get some PTFE? Petra, or polytetraflora ethylene? Or an MP bag? I think we go... We're about to start making this. Hmm. I don't really care about the MV bag, I guess. Um, okay, and then HV. We've been making some platinum that we've been getting from nickel, so that's pretty neat. We will take that HV bag, I think. Uh, we made a mixer for some sort of alloy, I think, a little while ago. And then we did this quest a while ago, too. We get all of that. Does that get us caught up? Oh, no. Um, we got a quest in here when we made the diamond armor. What is that used for? Just food? That is some expensive food. Hmm. Let's take it. No oh, wait. Where'd it go? There we go. Oh wait, I don't really need to eat, but oh well, it's letting me eat it. Oh, that is pretty nice actually. I forgot about those jeweled apples. Um hmm. And we got a few quests in the building better bases. Um, yep, we made all of that. Let's take some, our steel ingots. We made this little guy to help us build that circle up top there. Get some glass. And this gets us some redstone, and we we upgraded it. Um, yeah, so upgrading it basically just took uh, an ender eye lens and some redstone. And this guy originally cost us this with some uh, illuminators. Uh, yeah, fun stuff. Um, obsidian and then a diamond lens. These illuminators are pretty nice. I think they're they are a light source, light source, but uh, they're a little pricey for a light source, right? Um, but they are pretty cool. Oh, we can make. Oh, with helium you get more. Hmm. Nifty. Okay. Um, I guess I made this stuff at some point. I don't remember when. But it could have been a while ago. And our reservoir, we never claimed this quest, so that gets us some nice stuff. And then after breaking all my Coke ovens, um, that finished this quest here. So I think for this, we are probably going to take these bad boys. Because to make these, it takes this and a piston. So I think this is the better deal. Oh, we made some night vision potions. And this will give us some stuff. Uh-oh. Now we're full. Oh, we never claimed this quest for going into the... Oh my goodness. What? Dude. Dream Masters stuff? I mean, this is pretty beast, dude. I didn't know about this. Um, and we get some knowledge notes. So, 
Wow, okay, yeah, I did not. Hmm. That's actually pretty stinking cool. Um, hmm. Okay, so I, I, I guess I never knew there was a hardcore Ender expansion um, quest line because it looks like that's what this is. Yeah, duh. That's what it says right there. Um, and I think we got that stuff right. Uh, maybe we didn't get enough endstone. Okay. Um, yeah, actually, we will probably go back to the end eventually here uh, and see what that's all about. But, dude, check this armor out. I mean, pfft. oh, you know what? My piston boots, though. Not my piston boots. Can we enchant these? Distractions. You can enchant them. Should we just take a random roll at it? Yeah, why not? Right? Haste 3, so I can run faster than I already was. And it's soulbound. Um, did we just win? Is that faster than we were? I feel like yes. Um, okay, well, uh, unfortunately, we will, j we will not always wear these, or these are even better than they already were, which is, I thought, impossible. Um, okay. We will just have to put the boots away. We'll put them in here. So when we're fighting bad stuff, dude, these, these guys come out. But, I mean, dude. Are we freaking OP? We're O pink. That's for sure. Let's move on here. We're, <laughs> we're supposed to be getting stuff done. Um, This armor can go in here for now because I'll probably never touch it again because we have cool stuff. Let's do... Do we right-click these? Yes, we do. Okay. We got lots of knowledge points. Um, and we just got a bunch of kill all the things. So, yeah. Let's uh, claim all this and then move on to the next step here. All right, so I want to upgrade some of my bags. I think I have three LVs before I forget to do this again. Um, and then we have, we definitely have three MVs. Now, are these time gated? No, you can just keep repeating them. Okay. That is neat. Um, can we, we can't do the HV ones, right? That would be OP. Yeah, they get unlocked later. HV to EV. Okay. Basically just need to make the EV machine casing. So, all right. But maybe we do... Maybe we do the all of our fortune ones. We got one of each. So LV, MV, HV. Let's do it. LV. We got pizza and a file. Cool. We got... Nickelback. Oh no. Not Nickelback. Um, is that all we got? I think so. And a battery. Okay, well. Cool deal. Alright, next on the agenda, let's get this vacuum freezer controller crafted up. I think think I did everything that I needed to. No, I forgot to put um, one of these in there. Okay. So we can now craft up our vacuum freezer controller and get that set up. Let's get the quest. Thank you. Um, and then... And an implosion compressor complete. Thank you. And did I make everything we needed for this? Does that sound right? Definitely not. Okay. Um, 
All right, for this we are we're going to need this stuff. So I did not prepare for that, but we can do that really really fast. All right, so I think we have everything we need now to make this advanced circuit assembler 2. Bingo. All right, these are huge upgrades here. Um nice. And the quest, and that quest should unlock some stuff, right? Yes, the first IV circuit. So we will be looking at these here soon-ish. Um, but I would like, I haven't quite figured out how I want to set these bad boys up yet. So I'm going to have to fit this circuit assembler in here somehow and up the power because we are currently on uh, MV stuff here. So this is now an HV machine. So I got to do some reconfiguring. We don't need this bad boy anymore. Um, maybe I'll keep it. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I need to do some reconfiguring here to squeeze that bad boy in there. And then we're going to start putting our multi-blocks up here. So we might as well start with these two here. Um, I actually, I might even make another EBF. Um, yeah. I think we'll make another EBF. We'll keep this one, but we're going to have an EBF attached to this vacuum freezer. So all the ingots that come out hot will just automatically go into the vacuum freezer and then go into a, a chest for me to come around and pick up. So, um, yeah, let me do some figuring out here. I'll probably have to make some turbines and such. So uh, we're going to run it all off benzene because we got a good amount of it going. Um, looks like we got some... Yeah, okay. Whoops. Distraction. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll I'll make some turbines, run off benzene, all that good stuff. But let me uh, configure out how, I, configure out, configure out, configure everything. We uh, these guys, yeah, configure them to get set up and all that good stuff and science and math and cool stuff like that. So uh, be right back. All right. So while trying to uncover what I did here to set up this new HV circuit assembler. I remembered that I already have an HV generator here, or turbine, um, and then I had a transformer. I made both of these, but then I came over here and I, we were transforming it down to four MV amps through this cable diode and into there, but um, and into the uh, battery buffer and then to the machines, right? So I'm thinking, can I just hook this? directly to the diode, even though this is MV, but it holds four amps of MV, and this is technically creating four MV amps, right? Four MV amps equals one HV amp, which this is producing. Um, so I started a backup, but it hasn't really started, but one just started a little bit ago, so we should be okay, right? Okay, here goes nothing. Boom. Question mark. Okay. So that works. Now the question is, what do I do about in here? So this might get a little dicey here. Move the battery buffer to here. We don't even have four batteries in here. Oh my goodness. Alright. That's where the problem comes. Whew. <laughs> oh man. Alright. I gotta run it back up here. Whew. That my heart just dropped. I feel like I got electrocuted. <laughs> that was dumb. All right, I know what I did wrong. All right, so we backed up. I think um, when I do a backup, it loses all my waypoints. No. Or it steals the waypoints from the original, so if I don't use the backup, then 
something like that. I don't know. Um, cool. I didn't lose any waypoints this time. And we didn't lose any nodes. Okay, cool. It's uh, working out great. Perfect. Um, so I realize what I did there. I did some no-nos. So, okay. We're learning. Um, I'm going to take this. We're still going to do this. I know I'm wasting benzene, but it's kind of passively making it here. Um, Alright. Oh, I don't have those pipes anymore. I also saved on some resources because I didn't double up on this. Um, hmm. Can I put the transformer right in the wall? Will that break the multi-block? So that's going. Do that. We'll pick this up. Grab that. Um, and then we're going to stick the... No. We'll keep the diode there. Oh, okay. The diode can't... Wait. Oh, maybe I put it on the wrong side. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so we're going to try this setup here. Um, I just have the transformer feeding these two machines here for now. Um, we're going to have a cable, a gold cable. I need to get some spray paint and start spray painting these uh, cables because it's going to get real gnarly here soon, especially all my noodle piping. So um, now we're going to put this machine here for now, right? And then in the wall here, we have a HV machine hall, because I think that'll transfer power through these walls, if I'm remembering that correctly. And then we just need to move this closer to touch that. Third time's a charm. All right, and then put that on there. I think we have everything good. Boom! No. <laughs> I, I think we're gold in here, right? These guys should still work. No. Okay, so we don't... Does that not transfer power? Hmm. Okay, I think we're going to do this. I'm just going to put a gas turbine. Um, yeah, we got benzene over there somewhere. Yeah, we're going to put a gas turbine here and uh, run the power just to itself. Uh, I'm going to keep these separate. Uh, and then that means the machine will just have to go like that. So let me go run some benzene. And if we put the turbine here, face it this way, come in here, we might actually have to move this real quick. I wonder, uh, does the yellow guy need to poke this way for it to get power? Does that how, is that how it works? Do we need, maybe we need a cable? Boy, this is going to start looking real crazy here in a minute. Um, all right, let's try to make a couple of these. Is this going to work? That does work. Okay. Beautiful. And it failed because we don't have a 100% clean room. No. No. Two failures. All right. Um, yes. Messy. Messy clean room. 
we now have an HV circuit assembler, so that is good. And we also, boy, that that took. It was experimenting, right? Um, yeah, experimenting. And we also got this set up. Uh, powers ran to it. Maintenance is done. So we can now do hot ingots much easier and quicker. Um, yeah, just a simple setup there. I'm, I'm not going to do the EBF just yet. Uh, I want to wait till we get a little bit further here. Uh, into the uh, energy hatch, wherever that might be, right here. Um, so we're still still working on some stuff here. Uh, this is the uh, that might be the only quest we need to get that to that. So let's uh, let's mm-hmm let's uh let's make those coolant cells. How do we make them? All right, so we can get a decent amount of helium from endstone dust. So I'm gonna go do that real quick because I wanna I wanna move forward in this pack, and we have done a little bit, but let's do a little bit more this episode. So I think we're gonna take a ah, that's the wrong chest, but oh well. Uh, a quick trip trip to the end again, and um, grab some endstone and maybe do a little bit uh of the Hardcore Ender expansion stuff as well while we're out there. So let me go get prepared for that. Alright, so I'm just, uh, you know, doing a little, uh oh, doing a little exploring. And I come across this thing. <laughs> so, uh, I already went in there a little bit, and it's a little nutty, So, I, but I figured I'd start recording and bring you guys back. Really all I need to do is gather up a bunch of endstone for helium, but I um, figured I'd check out the end a little more than we did last time, too, at the end of this episode. Maybe we won't get into that coolant yet, just yet, but uh, we will do some of this. Where was that? So I want to get endstone and end powder. So we need to find some of that end powder ore. Okay. Not too difficult, but let's go check out that tower. A little bit more. Uh, how much flight do I have? Four minutes. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Alright, so lots of crazy obsidian, which looks pretty neat. Oh, oh, this is a boss. Oh, oh, this is a. Okay. This isn't good. We might die. We might die. I did not realize that was going to be a boss. Okay, should we heal up and go back in? And not switch our tools around like that? Oh my goodness. Oh, look at him heal up. Oh, come on. Walked right in front of me. That's not my fault. Okay, so we're not going to go in that tower. We're going to... We're just going to act like that didn't happen. Um, let's continue on. We have three minutes of flight. What is this? Transport beacon. Oh, okay. Can unlock some of those. Alright, so I think we need some of this end powder. NDM. Yeah, let's grab all of this without angering these guys too much. Oh, wait. They're going to get super mad once I mine this, huh? Okay. Let's just kill these guys anyways. All right, we got a little bit of flight left.
Wait, we got some. Oh, okay. Was I did I still touch that one? Is that what I did? Is that the right way to go? We got 36. I think that is the right way to go. Or unless we get the unless we get the ore too. Did we get that ore? No. Okay, so we want to silk touch those. All right. We learned. Yeah, that mass race down to so much more than what I'm getting. Okay. All right, we screwed up. Um, we should be silk touching those ores. Probably that one too, huh? Yeah, you get four and like, you don't get four with that. So, Silk Touch it is. Or maybe with Fortune you get better, but I don't have Fortune, so. Alright, so if we put this in our inventory now, that should complete a quest. Yes, okay. Now it wants us to do that tower. Okay, I do want to do this, but I am just not ready for that boss, dude. Um, he straight owned me. Oh my goodness, you can put special effects on your ender pearls, and this one seems hilarious. We gotta try this. The thrower, the thrower will ride the pearl to its destination. During the ride, if another pearl is with this effect is thrown, the previous pearl will destroy itself and deal fall damage. Huh. Um, you can ride your ender pearl? That is sick. Dude, there's a lot of cool uh, <laughs> effects in here, so we, we should try that eventually. Um, I think they say, like, you right-click the end powder. Oh, yeah, and then you just put your stuff in there. Very neat. Um, okay, let's go get some more end stone. I, man, I really want to... I should have put a marker on where that tower was. Uh-oh. Ooh! Okay, he was mad. <laughs> Here is another teleporty thingy. Okay. Oh, here's another one of these towers. We can maybe set a waypoint to this, huh? Are they mad? Oh, yep, they're mad. They're mad, they're mad, they're mad, bro, they're mad. at that um yeah that's something all right let's just set a waypoint here um call it tower i didn't even set a waypoint to our um and original island here we probably should have done that Oh wow, look at, this is, okay, yeah, I'm looking for like bigger ones, and this is kind of bigger. Looks like it's actually a Greg Tech vein. wonder which one. Tongue state? Oh, what? A mighty ender enderman. Boy, now how am I going to get back here? I'm going to need to bring a lot of blocks. Ugh, I should have left a flight potion here. At least we have our piston boots that need to be repaired. Ooh, that wasn't smart. Did I just... I don't, did I get two hit? 
Like that was that was nuts. What am I doing? I don't even know where I'm going right now. I'm all flustered. Ah oh, man. All right, I got some uh, I got some traveling to do. I will see you guys in a little bit. Oh my goodness! Put it in my hot bar. All right, so I actually don't have to bring a bunch of building blocks because you can easily just make a flight potion with the various trophies and a feather like we've done before. So now we have three. <laughs> um, but I need to travel to the end and get my bodies. So, uh, yeah, see you uh, in a little bit here. All right, so I think this episode has gone on a little too long. So I think we're going to end the episode here, but I first want to grab up some of these flowers because this will get us a quest with a flower plot. Um, the flower will decay, attract endermen, and completely decays. It turns black, propagates massive amounts of decay to nearby blocks, and spawns an ender clusters or energy cluster. So maybe that's something good here. Um, for us in the future, so let's pick up a few of these bad boys, maybe. Because we might need them. I don't know. But it is a quest, so we will pick that up, and we will say bye-bye for now. So, thank you for watching uh, episode 45 of my Greg Tech New Horizons playthrough. You guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks. Bye.